it doesn't matter what chair I see. I just had the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did not know that. Mm -hmm. He's messing with me. Where come the night? Oh, you're supposed to. I actually brought one when I was there from the event. Mm, there's the one. You said that here? Sure. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yeah. Is it? More than yeah. We'll let it be official. Portion of it. Oh, good. And I'm all done. 
Tickets at any any outlets. We get a portion of it. It goes to the borough, municipality. You know where you got one Saturday? yesterday for two, so. Oh, really? <coughs> Becoming a more reoccurring uh, thing down there now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are a lot in there. You just got some. Yep, there are a lot in there. I've got a page in there. Okay. Looking for a motion to accept the minutes. Motion has been made. Seconded. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, public comments. Um, this has nothing to do with the borough. We are not going to be answering any questions for the about the IMA meeting. But anything other than that, we would take public comments on that. Okay. Um, the Veterans Committee, Veterans Memorial Committee. Okay. Um, we laid rest to rest one of our charter members today. Um, good evening. We um, are looking to put permanent flag poles over at the Lynn Stevenson Memorial Bridge. Um, we've been putting flags on Memorial Day and a better day. So we'd like to get your blessing on that project. We didn't know if we needed any special permission or... You have my blessing. Thank you. Yeah, we'll Can we make a motion? I'll make a motion. Okay. I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion. Okay. No second. That's okay. okay. Motion was made and motion was seconded to put install permanent flag poles at the Lynn's Water Lynn Stevenson Memorial Lynn's Bridge. Lynn Stevenson Memorial Bridge. Thank you. That's one of our projects. <laughs> All in favor? All right. Okay. All opposed? Okay. Motion I'm carries. trying to get the memorial fixed up for Memorial Day coming up. Um, that pole is still there with that for meter or whatever on it. We do have someone that will take that out for us if you give us the okay to go ahead and do that. I think that they wanted to use that power for the other monument, but we can do something with it to make it uh, look better. Either cut it down or put something around it. <clears throat> you could even move it if we had to. Yeah. Yeah. You know this is kind of an eyesore right there. Yeah. Right there. It's just hanging up in the middle of nowhere. From all the the the, the, the I see you know, yeah. brought that up. I was actually in question what it was for. <laughs> we don't know. That's whenever they were doing the uh, bridge the, levy, here. the bridge. They, uh, oh, <laughs> they put that in for the power. And um, the last thing I wanted to ask, um, any word from Dallas yet as far as the other bridge dedications? Still nothing yet. <coughs> okay. That's all I wanted yet. to know. Okay. Anything else on? I can't think of anything. I mean, I could probably say a lot. They probably know what I'm But then, but this is, I have for our minutes here, from 19, so 1893 to 1913, I brought them for Tom the Ring. <laughs> you know, he's a person. That's very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'm not the person who's there. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, who's up next? I have a subdivision map here um, for Theodore and Joanne Gawher. So the subdivision was for the, their divorce decree and stuff like that. I get the borough to sign off. I send a PDF. I don't know if you want to review it. You can. If I have a place to roll it up, you can look at it if you want. So, it on over. Is this over at the quarter? Yeah, it's Swank Town? Yeah. Over by, yeah. Yeah. Head's yeah. garage. This is just the paperwork for the county. Okay. And where's your subdivision going on? Um, right. So the main subdivision is the residual and the parcel one. So this was one whole thing. Their divorce decree said that she got this piece, parcel four, five, and parcel six, which Teddy got one, and then the lots where his um, truck and garage is. And then, so we had to we had to actually split this this and um in half for that. So okay. pretty much that's it. Okay. Remember with this anyone? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And what I need to do is make a so make a motion for the subdivision. So move. Okay, motion is made for the subdivision. Mark seconds. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. I just need signature. Or you get a right on screen. <laughs> Uh, about six or seven. Okay. Right here? Yep. And would you ever want a copy of it after it's all recorded? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, should have, we should have a copy of that. All right. Send it. There's an address for the borough building. Yeah. Do you want me to write down? Yeah, go ahead, Ray. Just put on the back of that. <coughs> Signature gets worse the more I do. That's right. Doesn't matter. No two. See, no two. You see some of the enters. They just put a line through it. Yeah. All right. There you go, Mister. Right. I will. Once meetings at the, I say the clean, or county planning meetings, the last Wednesday of the month. Okay, and once that's done, we'll have them recorded, and then we'll get to you, get them sent out to you after that. All right. Thank you, guys. Yep. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Morning, you're up. I think it's Yeah. The board members that I would like them to consider before the next meeting, please. Is that what I just was looking for? Did you want did you want to read that or sure? This is under the Pennsylvania Public Official and Employee Ethics Act. Ethics Act. Suspension. While the Ethics Act itself does not explicit mention suspension, a borough may take action if a member is being investigated for ethical violations. However, the process and grounds for suspension would likely be governed by local ordinance, borough charters, or out their relevant laws. Conflict of interest, the Ethics Act prohibits public officials and employees from engaging in conduct, conduct that constitutes a conflict of interest. If a borough member is under investigation for such conflicts, the borough may consider suspension as a precautionary measure. Restricted activities. The Act outlines restricted activities include seeking improper influences and engaging in conduct that undermines public trust. If a member's actions fall within these restrictions, the borough may take disciplinary action, which could include suspension. Statement of financial interest. Borough members are required to file a statement of financial interest annually, declosing their financial interest and potential conflicts. Failure to comply could result in penalties or other consequences. Investigation. The Ethics Act provides for both preliminary and full investigations into alleged violations. The State Ethics Committee handles these investigations. Penalties. If a borough member is found to have violated the act, penalties may include fines, reprimands, and other disciplinary actions. And I would really like you guys to consider that before the next borough meeting. Well, I think we'd have to consult our uh, solicitor and go accordingly there we could make any decision then we'd have to do it 
obviously executive session. If we're going to decide to do anything, we'll have to talk it over between the groups. So, so uh, look into that. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <coughs> Anyone else? Mr. President. Yes. I was talking to your kind secretary prior to the meeting, and now that you have dedicated a portion, and I'm, I was told that it's when you go up and you turn, and there's the water authority, could there be a, a street light put right there at that elbow? A street light? Yes. We'd have to see a team of panel. I could see if it would be cost effective and feasible. That's kind of a blind area. Um, I'm speaking for my niece, who who would have called me and asked that if you could consider that. Mm -hmm. It's dark there, and it's she's all alone. Before you start up to the entrance of the. Uh, the, that if you, it would be on that corner, she tried to get it herself, and they said that a, the borough has to put it in. Okay. So, thank you for listening. Yes. On, that, on that note, too, I noticed there was some that were out, out, out in I town. Submitted a handful of them. Okay. Sometimes you have to submit those a couple of times. Yeah. The okay. will come out and yeah. actually repair them, but yeah. I mean, you know, they're busy too, so. Thank you for considering. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone else? Public comments? Okay. Moving on. Mr. Mayor, you're up. Um, I got with Dave earlier this week. Um, him and I discussed about the levy. Um, come what, in June? Yes. Yeah. So Dave's going to come up with a plan. Um, where we're not grasping our straws at the last minute like we did last year. That was embarrassing last year. I was embarrassed. So Dave's going to sit there, come up with a plan, and he's going to get that whole levy done. Um, I'm going to walk with him and show, because I, th I think it's DEP this year. Yeah, I talked to him. Oh, you did? July 2nd, sort of. That's what they Okay. <coughs> I'm going to walk with Dave sometime next week, show him what DEP and the Army Corps of Engineers wanted. You know, being down inside the culvert mm -hmm. and everything else and all that. Um, and then, um, Mark. Mm -hmm. What I need you to do is I need you to give it to the fire chief. The fire company has been on me for the past couple of years. They need that ball filled for a light flight. Okay. Okay. They need signs put put up. We can't have you're gonna to have to give it to rec authority. And there's gonna to have to be you know how they park the cars all willy nilly down there? There's gonna to have to be a no parking space. The whole way to the field so the ambulance or whatever can get in there so they're not backing cars out and moving stuff around. Okay. So yeah, and also check with Life Flight to see if they need a windsock down there. Okay. Like we can put one on the corner of the ball field so that way they can tell where I know last time we contact the fire company contacted them, they said no because there were no lines to really watch for. And it's wide open so that they never really needed anything. Okay, I'm, well, what I'm saying is a windsock for them to break right. up into the wind, so right. I, don't, I don't know. Right. Just check with them and see, make sure everything's up to their specifications because that's the last thing I want is someone to need life flighted in. We've got cars all willy nilly parked down there. They'll get with the rec authority, right. with the fire chief, and we'll go from there. And um, last is. Um, we got to start adopting Robert's rule here. I mean, we do follow it. I'm not saying we got to follow 875 pages in this book, but what I'm thinking is limiting speech time. I know some of the board members, council members, I mean, we go off talking about different array of stuff. If we can just stay focused on business, that's. 
comments for me to read. Only in terms of the five pages. That's it. Okay. Um, okay, Dave, you're up. Uh, it's over 45 Hawkins Street, the pipe deal with Gary's property. It's going to be approximately 60 feet, tracks a load of 2B. Red contacts the DEP and they highly want to make sure they don't need permits for that before we do anything. There's two trout streams come together. Don't want to be liable for it. He brought up the levy, so you got the date on that. With the camera inspection, Amber, you should be getting, I called them back. They should be sending you that. Okay. Uh, Swank Street, I've been doing some work over there. It's, it's just beyond beat down, so if you guys go ahead and prove that, probably just have Timmy tailgate it if you can. If you think that'd be efficient, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, it's, authority. It's, it's getting yeah. pretty pounded in there, and yeah, we we talked about that too. So it's in a toss up. It shows the water line, the new water line going down the center of it. So, how bad do you think? I mean, is it something they keep repairing, or do you want to wait till the? I'd wait till they they were done. Okay. You said March sometime, right? Uh, I talked to the engineer. And they said probably six to eight weeks of lead time for materials, so it's probably going to be middle of April. Yeah, I wouldn't put much money in it if they're going to tear it up. Yeah. Well, I got the Gravely Brush Hog and the Ford Tractor going, got it dug out, got them going, worked great. Yeah. So that should help with the levy a lot. Uh, can you guys come up with any extra help yet, or how you, what route you're going to go? Well, yeah, you know, Bert's contacted all of us. Yes, and you know, well, he said that he would come in in the evenings. Oh. Well, I, I, I thought he would come in and he would do the, uh, he, would, he, would, he would pick away at the levy as that's needed, so that way we would be ahead of the game on that. Because that's just quick on that. Though. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair now, actually. Yeah. I'm sure that we have a part -time, someone part-time to help you. With school, when school lets out, he, they get rid of third shift up there. Yeah. So he wants to go to first shift. He said, but need be, he could work first shift till then. And then, you know, 11.30 or whatever, 7.30 in the morning to 11.30 a.m. But if it comes to the levy, he could go second shift to where he could be down here from the morning to most of the day. If, that, yeah. if that's what he has to do to, to, to get hired, yeah. he'll do whatever. Yeah. Uh, but do you want somebody more than that? At this point, he knows what we're doing. He's been there. We've done that levy and stuff together, and that's, that's sort of priority right now. I mean, as long as we're all right to work with the water authority, doing some of our stuff, like Dan helped me the other day do some dead tree limbs, we can make it work for now. I mean, if you guys are okay with it. We don't want you getting burned out. Me? Everybody likes you. We used to be burned out. <laughs> <laughs> Lawn care season's coming too, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine with Bert. If you guys are fine, we can make it work. I mean, I've worked around them, we've worked together, so. It's not like we have to coach each other along. Mm -hmm. He can show up, I show up, we do our thing. Good. So, that'll work for me. Uh, and you said about the truck get being maintenance. It wasn't maintained? Yeah, I, I mean, if we get it, I'd rather, I'd like to go up to Matthew Henry and M&H, take the Dodge up and have him service it again. I sent him pictures, and pretty much through three codes. And when I open the air cleaner box, I have pictures on my phone. I can show you if you want to see it. It's from the company that went out of business. But if we get it approved, I really recommend taking it up and have Matthew service it. Cost a couple bucks. You know. Yeah, we, we can't have that truck breaking down in, yeah. in the dead of winter in the middle of a snowstorm. That's, that's, that's it was serviced two and a half months ago. That's the old air cleaner, and that's the one I just put in. Oh my God. Do you need a motion? Yeah. Do you need a motion? Yeah. Don't make a motion to get the door. Yeah. If the fuel filters and stuff weren't done, I mean, they they need it's a diesel. We run diesel yeah. as well. Yeah. It's, it's a high priority thing. Yeah. So, a motion was made to uh, have the uh, water truck servers up at uh, MH. M &H. Mark seconds. All in favor? <coughs> motion passes. Now, my other another concern. That's my last thing, and I'm done. <laughs> I know we talked about the skid steer. <coughs> Something, if you end up going to executive or whatever, something I was thinking about, if we could get our skid steer service, because I've run a lot of them, it's an older <coughs> machine, that's a good machine. Would you just consider going like a mid sized tractor with a front bucket, a three point hitch, and a big belly mower on it? You know, because our zero turn is going to take pounding just doing all this departing and everything. 
I understand we've got to do a Ford tractor with a punish mower on it. It's a 79. I think the newer updated, if you want to go that route, I mean, if you're for the skid steer and you make a decision, that's fine. But we'll be something to talk about. We should have the skid steer service because it used to be going to uh, case we serviced every yeah. two years, I think. And they will come here. I was going to say, will they come here? They'll come here, yeah. Our only issue with that is, is you can't get the cabin all the way up in our garage or the water authority, so we'll have to plan the weather because you can't pull the safety locks on. And that yeah. don't bleed off right now, but like yeah. overnight or something, it will bleed off. Yeah. You shouldn't be under it without the safety no, locks. No, that's what I'm saying. It needs to shut me under it. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's an OSHA violation there, I mean, yeah. on its own. Well, we can pull it up if we have to. Yeah. It's no big deal. The tires. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh, and I do have all the prices on the tires. Bungo was definitely the cheapest by $250. So, and I, I have them down on my desk. I'll give them to Amber here. Okay. Yeah, we won't need to do that before winter. But we do. No, I don't want to need tires, tires on until I'm done brewing. Yeah. Just, you know, he's burning them off on the streets right now. Found it for me. Okay. So I can help you. You'll you remember something else. <laughs> <laughs> I can go one for hours. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you for your borough worker. He's a real gentleman, and I appreciate him contacting me. Thank you're you. You're welcome. He's done a really good job for us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, correspondence. Um, I got a letter from the VFW um, to whom it may concern. The Richard L. Beers Post 7043 in Coolport, PA, would like to present the following for your consideration. We are hopeful to participate in the Hometown Heroes Banner Program, whereby we would hang professionally created 18 by 36 banners from the utility poles in your jurisdiction. These banners represent veterans from your community with a picture and a description of their service in the U.S. military. You may have seen these banners in other local towns such as Tyrone and Bellwood. Prior to proceeding with the fundraising and purchasing, we need permission to hang the banners in your community. Thank you for your consideration in this matter. Bye and Peacock. I'll make it. Uh, Tom made the motion to hang the banners. Yep. Mark second. All in favor? Uh, aye. I think it would be rude to say no. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I collected $3,760.79 in taxes. And on that note, we need to open up a new checking account for taxes. Um, so we're going to need a motion to open a new checking account at Northwest, Northwest Bank, and I will be the signer, and Dan, and you will have to be the signer, so we have to make a motion on that. I'll make it. Motion has been made to open a new checking account at Northwest for the taxes. I second. Call in seconds. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Um... The EADS group, they called, dropped off a flyer the other day. They said that we can get grant money through them to help with um, storm water drains and stuff. So That'd be nice. yeah. I'm going to reach out and see where it takes us. And then I got an email from Clearfell County stating that there is going to be, we can set up a spring cleanup day. Um, yeah. All the stuff will be taken out to Kershey's landfill. So, yeah, we're going to have to have help with that if we, once they set a date, because we have to register for it and stuff, so. We carry a corporate, too? I don't know if corporate and them are doing it. I don't know. It's just going to be our number, I mm -hmm. It used to always be the three. Do you know if there's any cost to us? No, we're so Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Well, you're on that. Since we have water for you guys here, they have that nice dump trailer, too. If they would approve using that. And if you guys need help or anything, I'm more than willing to help out with that. Okay. So I guess we carry Township last year. They got a, a grant and they had a dumpster up there that residents could throw tires in. And it was 100% paid for. Hmm. Four. I think it was. Was it four? four? Four dumpsters or four tires? Four, four tires, tires per uh -huh. person. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should look in to see about that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'll that'll clean some stuff up around town. Yeah, that'd be a good thing, I think. Yeah, I I didn't know they had anything like that. 
I remember, I think when I was in Bull Court, they had a long time ago. Yeah. You take a bit of park, but uh, the carry had one up there at the, at the Burr building. Okay. And I, they had them here a few times, but they haven't done it in a long time. Okay. Yes, yes. I didn't miss it. I did get the dump site. Dan Health, Water Authority. It's pretty nice over there. Residents want to know in the future if we still do something for grass, leaves, and ashes. Because I did it. I mean, they started dumping TVs and stuff. I had to dig them all out. This is in the dumpster. So I have it gated off. You can't even get back in there. So there's something you can talk about. But well, it's not a compost. It's not a compost facility like they have. I just want to know what to tell people. You know, yeah. it's done. You know. I, I don't know. In my opinion, I think we probably sh shouldn't be accepting trash from. Well, I don't think trash. Or even you know, um, burnables like that leaves and. It's good to have for the time. It was a mess. Yeah, yeah. Because we like to get that cleaned up over yeah, here. Clean the industry. We used to collect ashes for the alleys. We did, but and we, then it just got to be too much. Yeah, broken glass and nails, you know what you're forgetting, so we yeah. completely quit doing that. Yeah. We still have to dump our like wet soil and stuff over there from leaks? Yes. Okay. Yes. <coughs> and any, anything the borough produces on our own, yes. Okay. But for residents, I, I don't know, would, it, would we make a motion on that? Or for what? For the, not, no, 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 no dumping, just yeah. put no dumping signs on there. Uh, but I will need it, get a little younger, about the $300 fine. Okay. They're going to still dump there. Until yeah. We cover ourselves. Might as well make a motion on it. Everyone's all right with that. We'll make that motion. Okay. Chip made the motion. Second. Tom second. <coughs> all in favor? Aye. You're pretty polite. <laughs> now, do you have to post that somewhere that they don't dump their leaves down there anymore? There, there are signs down there already. Oh. There have been signs yeah, down there for a couple of years. years. Maybe just put I them on Facebook or something. Yeah. 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 Cindy, Cindy used to not like it either. It was the like we we'll burn it off. It was yeah. We did this year. Yeah. We did it quick. So. Yeah. But I know in past years. Yeah. And in our new business, we need to, the council needs to get together. We need to have a workshop on maintenance and needs about here in town. Yeah. If we can, you know, figure out when we're all available to do that, just let me know. I mean, we got some ditches that need fixed, some drains under the road. There's some stuff that needs done here. Yeah. So let me just get a little workshop together and we'll tackle that. Okay. That's all the new business. Adjourn Motion has been made to adjourn. I second it. Second it? All in favor? Aye. Oh, what we're going to do? I hope not. Oh, no. I hope not. I'm looking at the hands backwards. I'm thinking this, there's no way it's 20 after eight right now. I'm thinking there's no way it's 20 after eight right now. I'm thinking there's no way it's 20 after eight right now. That's amazing.